More guitar music. There's a woman. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. You enjoying the kazoo music? Holly Oxford, the hotel Thank you, owner. Mrs. Holly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. I thought this was supposed to be a horror game. Why is there like guitar music, opera music, and like whistling music? Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? Admire. Yes. It's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. <laughs> and why are they sitting on opposite ends of a table? A gigantic table. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. Oh yeah, they all got turned into zombies. She can't hear. White shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. How does she keep this place running? It must be hard by yourself. Yeah, it must be impossible. We're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. <laughs> She's not listening. <laughs> I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. <laughs> the music doesn't right. help. <laughs> Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little <laughs> It finally way. says it. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old. Oh. I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly. The table's like 30 feet long. <laughs> You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together. Oh my god, the whistling got even worse. <laughs> this cutscene doesn't even make any sense. Look, are we outside or are we inside? Oh, that's a gigantic window. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. Yeah, because the room is completely fucking trashed. Zach, the lady is offering to Oh my god, that song was funny as hell. <laughs> uh yeah, sure. Good idea. Tell me about this town. Oh, more guitar music. Yeah, I can barely hear her over the fucking music. What? Why is she so far away? We saw plenty of guests in those days. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. Yeah, because this place is really Silent Hill. I suppose the clock of the community center is quite famous too. Clock? Oh yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it many times during your stay. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it too, I think. I look forward to hearing it then. Anything else you'd like to know about? Uh, the shops. Yes, actually. <laughs> Could you tell me about the shops? Oh, this is supposed to be a horror game. Well, oh, no. <laughs> they're telling me they're going to whistle again. After all, you can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The Milk Barn? You run it are a unique pair. I'm oh, sure if there's anything like you, I'll love it. Diner is a great place to eat. The access and games. My kitchen is closed. If you want to go to a bar, there are two. The Galaxy of Terror and the Sphere uh, uh, of 65. Oh yeah, I see the freaking developers put themselves in this game. For the younger folk. We also have a gas stand, of course. The Sweary 65. A gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. 
right? Well, Mr. Morgan, I better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring you Why would they put this music in a horror game? <laughs> I have to warn you though, I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. Yes, I want my coffee to talk to me, please. Right back with it. If that shit ain't having an intellectual discussion with you, don't serve it to me. That shit can't get on a presidential debate. Don't serve it to me. <laughs> or look with interest. <laughs> What's happening? Did you see that, Zach? I saw poorly rendered coffee. <laughs> In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. <laughs> FK in the coffee. Then, let's get going. No, let's consume it. Let's eat it. Eat my intelligent co- oh, we'll drink my intelligent coffee. Oh man, this game is too much. I, I can't handle it, man. I can't. I can't handle it. Please, no. Please, go back to horror. I, I can't handle this game. <laughs> Cutscenes make no sense, but they're funny as hell. Here I was thinking I just sat down to play a bland rehash of Resident Evil 4. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Look with interest. Oh my god. Right? Today is a fine, clear day. A perfect day to have a walk. I got paid for checking the weather. Various expensive sounding dishes are listed on the menu, though none of them really appeal to me. A lot for junk food and coffee anytime. Yeah, the bar is empty. Coffee with milk. Coffee to go. Trying to see which doors I can open. They have to have the sparkly stuff in front of them. There's a big hotel for one woman to run by herself. Doesn't even make sense. Alright, fuck it, I'm leaving. <sighs> oh, ha, <laughs> ha. Alright, yeah, let's save. And the developers have bars and stuff named after them. Ah, oh, it costs a dollar. Oh, but then you get paid back. Wow. So what does it matter? They take away a dollar for saving, and then they immediately pay you money for saving. All right, let's get outside. Let's get out of this crazy house, man. That's it for the first day of investigation. Or is that it for the first part of it? I don't know. All I did was have breakfast, listen to some hilarious music, some guitar music, some more hilarious music, and then make fun of my coffee. Bait. Normal worm. Use it with a fishing rod to go fishing. Oh no, it's continuing! Please! <laughs> However it goes. What's the sheriff doing out here? Our office is open from 9 to 1700. Don't be late! Sheriff George Woodman. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. 
a chariot for me. Surprise, he said. Let's take it for a spin. It's his best cruiser. Let's wreck it right away. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood. And, and no one, one took them. Yeah. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. All right, what's this? Oh, so many controls. Accelerate, decelerate, change view, headlights, side brake, talk, boost, honk, steer, wipers on, wipers off, signal left, signal right. Jesus Christ, man, how many different controls are there? And I got the master key. And the flare. There you go, this is a better view. Oh no, this is gonna be horrible. What is this jazzy music that's playing? How do I get out of here? So, so talk. About those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Really? Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Oh, yeah, most of them failures. The first video deck we bought. Most of them horrible fucking failures. On TV. I remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? Oh, boy. That sounds like a good one. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DiBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87 minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. Wow! Three minutes! I never have a chance to see it. Three whole minutes! Once this case is over, we can watch it together. No, please spare me. Copy on the internet pretty easily. Please spare me. A horrible fucking movie. Horrible fucking movie, please. Alright, here we go. We made it in time. Oh boy! More guitar! The sheriff's department. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. It's woodwork. Hey, look, some delicious country ham. Actually, I really like ham. It has to be nice and salty, though. And I don't like it dry, either. Who is this guy? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the Sheriff's Assistant. Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Yeah, the car was completely totaled. Just How'd you get him out of that wreck? I just. I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? 